asks you to start from five. By the way, if you want to change with these two buttons, plus and minus, you change it, okay? The, the highest number, the, the safest uh, is the system. So one is the lowest you can go, okay? Before the total deactivation. Eight is the highest one, okay? We suggest to you to start with five for today. With the mode button, you press just once and you go inside the menu where you can change the anti-wheelie and launch, you don't need it, launch control, and the ABS. Same stands for uh, those, those system as the traction control. With plus and minus, you change. I, uh, anti wheelie from one to three, and the same for the ABS. We suggest you to use one, okay? Mm -hmm. You confirm with mode. Okay. On this bike, for uh, uh, the first time, we added the uh, a gateway Bluetooth that is communicating uh, between uh, the bike and the smartphone. Uh, it's a quite a standard feature for our vehicle. We have uh, on uh, other bikes, uh, also on the scooter, but for the RS before, we added a new mode, it's called the race mode, where actually also the smartphone is communicating with the bike. It's sending commands to the bike. In order to do what? In order to set corner by corner, like in uh, MotoGP and Superbike, the electronic controls. So you can choose uh, for each sector of the track, uh, what do you want? The anti-wheelie is the absolute well value, from one to three, okay? The ATC, traction control, is relative value. So, if you've got five on the dashboard, when you start, and you got zero here, it's five, okay? Mm -hmm. You can go plus two, minus two. So from five to seven, up to seven, and down to, to three, okay? For each sector. We already have preset something for you. It is what we believe is the best setting for this track, uh, with uh, uh, traction control plus one, uh, after the first uh, chicane, is a quite tricky corner, and Minus one, corner seven and corner ten, those are two slow corners where we think you need uh, more control on the rear wheel, so more slip, okay? It's, it's more effective but also more fun. When you push start, as you can see, uh, the system snaps your vehicle on the track by using the GPS from the smartphone, but because it's not precise enough, we correct the GPS with the info from the bike, so with the speed and rolling angle, in order to have the best snapping as possible. Okay, the system in this configuration is doing actually nothing beside uh, communicating the, the, the parameters and uh, calculating lap times. So it's a, it's a telemetry, basic telemetry. When you push the lamp on for one second, you will see another card appearing there and the traction control blinking, the traction control level blinking. This means, okay, I'm doing something for you, mm -hmm. okay? You can deactivate at any time in the same way, okay? Push one second and release. And you can still change the reference level for the ATC, so traction control. If you want more safe, go up and it goes up and the same, down, down, okay? So you can change while running. It's still, ref, uh, it's still relative, so I change here yes. the pace and see a the relative... Uh, everything uh, goes up or down, but you still have on, the, on that corner minus one, okay? But you can have an, I guess, uh, overall level, okay? Uh, someone may say, okay, I don't think it's safe enough, I will show later what happens, but just one moment to show you also the additional uh, uh, dashboard. So here you got uh, the graphical representation of what is happening between those two. For example, this one is the roll angle, it's, uh, it's the one calculated by the inertial measurement unit on the bike, so it's quite precise. Acceleration, longitudinal, lateral, throttle, slip, uh, uh, longitudinal slip of the rear wheel. And also, for example, this one is the GG diagram, is the envelope of all the acceleration uh, of your vehicle, so it's indicating how much you are using the adherence available on the, on the tires, okay? 
the best shape for this one is a circle, obviously. obviously. You are using everything, okay? And you will see at the end of the, of the lap what happens on uh, this figure. And uh, those are all the other parameters from the consumption, the battery and so on, okay? By pushing together, you come back there, but everything was going on uh, in background. And as I said before, maybe something may happen on the on the smartphone the 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 most simple uh, thing is the, the battery drains out okay for example and just in case uh, so anything happens to the app it immediately come back to the standard management uh, for traction control and so it's it's very safe and it doesn't come back to for example minus two but to the reference so the safest one you decide to use okay that's it